Good evening from Bobblehead Homestead. I am Jeff. Today is Monday. It was Monday. It's six o'clock and it's already dark. You can't get anything done. Uh, it was 72 and sunny today. It was uh, like 40 this morning when I woke up. So yep, it's that time of year. All right, it's been a while and I meant to shoot. Yeah, things get out of hand and I don't have enough hours in the day. So first up, um, I had some visitors from out of state. Uh, Jeff and Leanne, they came down last uh, Friday and helped me out. We got the shower pan. Hi, Bob. Say hi, Bob. Oh, the cats love me now that it's getting cooler at night. Yeah. So they came down Friday. Um, they've got property in, here in Arkansas, not that far away from Waldron, the new place. And they stopped by for the day. They flipped houses. They have experience. They have knowledge. They have skills. They have tools. And with all of that, they helped me put the floor pan for the shower and hook up the drain. Uh, the drain was a little bit off center and uh, there was a crack in it. So uh, they placed, replaced the drain pipe uh, from, the, from the shower pan to the drain under the cabin. And then, uh, and then we got the uh, shower pan put in place. So big bonus on that. And after that project was done, they worked on the electrical wiring on the AA that was going outside the house along the... Uh, the siding of the house and they got that put in conduit uh, Got one wrong piece. So a little bit has to be redone But for the most part that's been done and that is awesome. So no uh, no uh, electrical wiring exposed to the elements and cats and whoever else might uh, play with them So thanks so much to Jeff and Leanne once again. Here's the footage. I didn't film it. It's kind of a uh, small space here in the bathroom, especially where the shower goes. But my helpers got the new shower pan, the floor pan, installed. In order to do that, they had to cut out, oh, my shadow, cut out some of the old plumbing for the drain and redo that. Um, and uh, that required cutting a hole in the floor so that they'd have access to it instead of going under the cabin and it all worked out great the shower pan is there um, then we started to hook up the shower valves and we discovered yeah the valve has a leak so that is going to have to be replaced and uh, not a big deal on that those just unscrew and screw back in but glad we learned about it now uh, especially since I'm still shopping for the shower walls. Now I can match up uh, whatever valves I get with uh, whatever shower wall I get. So yeah, big progress today getting the drain taken care of and the shower pan. So that is incredible. progress there that shower really needs to be finished before I move and here comes Bob again so uh, one thing we did realize is that the shower valve needs to be replaced we couldn't figure that out until we hooked the water up uh, hook the water up to the shower valve and that all needs to be replaced so I will do that uh, I can shop for that along with the shower walls so that I can get the right placement of the uh, the hot and cold water and the shower valve so all right progress on that front and then uh, okay today I uh, bulldozer man helped me replace the brake pads on the front of boss hog my 1991 Chevy Suburban so here's footage of and I helped I did I helped to replace my brake pad so here's footage of that
I needed to get that project done. They've been squealing for a couple months now, and now they started continuously rubbing. And now I know that there's a, a bulldozer man called it a tattletail. It's like a little tab, and it'll um, constantly... Anyway, that's when you know it's time to change brake pads. So, I changed brake pads at the right time. And I think I learned enough that I could do that myself in the future. Uh, the one thing, I don't have all the cool tools that you need to do that. Uh, I don't have a good jack. Uh, he had a good jack, you know, I would have had to take the whole thing out of the compartment and set it up and crank it. And I don't have an impact driver with the right uh, socket for the lug nuts. And so, zzz, 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 he's done. That would have taken me an hour. And uh, so, so much easier to do when you have the proper tools and I do not have the proper tools and then there are two bolts um, that came out and he used the impact driver to take those out I wouldn't have had that so uh, very much appreciate the help from bulldozer man doing those uh, front brake pads and now I could probably do it if I had the right tools uh, I could uh, well even if I don't have the right tools I could probably figure it out so yeah yeah that's cool all right um, uh, I got some plans later this week. I was hoping to get the brakes done a few days. Yeah, it is what it is. So hopefully another video coming later this week. I hope to go visit uh, another homestead here and help them out a little bit. And yeah, that's all I got for today. Sorry. There's just, uh, I've been in a holding pattern. I'm waiting on HVAC technicians. Yeah, uh, a lot of stuff out of my hands right now. I'm just waiting on other people and I can't predict when they'll be free. So uh, that's all I got for this video, except for some chicken TV to, uh, to uh, take you away for the night. So thanks for watching, thanks for everything. Enjoy the chicken TV and take it easy, everybody.